Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about how we can find the top 10 processes of a VDI machine using Citrix Director. Let's say there is a user who is trying to access a virtual desktop and for whatever reason the session is uh, freezing or uh, the session it, there is a lot of lag when the user is trying to access a virtual desktop. So as a help desk administrator if you would like to find out which process which process is consuming a lot of uh, uh, memory or CPU you can easily find out from these top 10 processes so what you have to do is let me log in first So the very first thing what you can do is you can find out uh, what is the host name of that uh, VDI or virtual machine. Based upon that you can find the statistics. So, so there is a user who contacted you and the user said uh, uh, the session is freezing all the time and he would like to find out what is actually happening. So you can ask the user okay what is the name of the machine. So the user says VDI03. Okay. Now what you need to do is you can just select this VDI03 and it would show some details on the screen. Okay. So it's uh, loading slowly. If you see here, it is loading. Okay, you see, you see some details here. So there is number of sessions is one, one connected session. Okay, so this is the VDI machine. Now you would like to find out the top 10 processes running on this particular VDI machine. So what you need to do is you need to click on view historical utilization. So this is really, really helpful during uh, troubleshooting if you want to find out which process is taking a lot of memory or CPU. So just click on view historical utilization so yeah it's coming up okay now if you see here uh, you can select whatever you wish so you can select for the last two hours or 24 hours or seven days or one month or one year so let's say user says for the last two hours i've, I've been facing this uh, uh, freezing issue or the session is not responding quickly so you can what you can do is you can select okay last two hours and you can say click apply okay now it would throw some details okay now if you see here these are the top 10 processes that are running on the VDI machine so uh, what you can do is you can just click on it and once you click on it you would find the details below that okay so here it would uh, uh, give the information like it, it would give the percentage here so let's say on this particular media machine here it shows two percent and two percent for uh, average memory and peak memory so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select broker agent exe okay now it shows like okay so the average memory is two percent this particular process is consuming 2% so it also gives the time as well around 620 to 630 on uh, 3rd of uh, October it is giving this details and you can also uh, check this one as well so it average memory is 2% and this is on uh, 3rd of October and the time is uh, between uh, 650 p.m. to 7 p.m. so this is for the this is just for the last two hours so if you would like to find out the details, uh, historical details for the last uh, uh, last one week or last one month, you can do it. And based upon that, you can track the details. Like you, you, will, you will find out which process is consuming a lot of memory or CPU. Okay. So this is how you can find the top 10 processes, processes of a virtual machine. So you can see the details like this is the process name. 
and this is the application okay this application is uh, you know you will you will find out like which application is taking a lot of CPU so you will you will find all the details right next to the processes so yeah so the username and this is the session ID and the average CPU it has taken it is consuming and this is the peak CPU for that particular application over the last one month or two weeks or whatever and the average memory and also the peak memory so based upon that you can uh, generate uh, this information you can generate a report and you can you know put it across to your IT team you can tell them okay this particular application is consuming so and so uh, memory or so and so CPU usage based upon that uh, may maybe they can increase the memory space I mean memory size or the CPU size of that particular machine to solve this kind of uh, problems I'm just giving some random uh, ideas but uh, yeah based upon your requirement once you gather these details you can take appropriate steps to solve this particular problem okay so I hope you find this information helpful and I forgot to say uh, if you are not able to see the top 10 processes here if you are not able to see uh, once you click on uh, historical machine utilization it means that this has been disabled okay so basically in Citrix studio there is a policy that needs to be enabled to see this top 10 processes in your console in your director console if you are not able to see this information it means that this policy is disabled or it is not enabled in your environment so the Citrix team if they enable it then you can find it otherwise you will not be able to see this information okay uh, I hope you find this information helpful if you have any questions you can leave a comment thank you